Where's your teacher, Miss P? Um, she's down at the video room. We're still doing. Um, oh, camera. Ooh. Oh, let's, let's go. Awesome. Then I get to teach. Yeah. 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 What do you guys like best about North Trail Elementary? Yeah. I like how like it's like people are really nice here. Okay, so the people are really nice. I like the technology. Brent, you like the technology. Tell me about the technology. It's just like easier to like carry around and like a bunch of papers and we're not wasting paper. Perfect. Dr. Geis is running for president of NAESP, which is the National Association of Elementary School Principals. Would I make a good president of that organization? Yes. Okay. Why? I'd be representing, you know, 40,000 elementary principals across the nation. Why would you endorse Dr. Geis running for that position? Yeah, Ms. Thurs. So I can get things done and I'm nice at the same time. Yeah. You can, you can travel all over reading. I could promote reading throughout the whole nation. Awesome. Yes. You just promote learning and you're always, um, you like everybody and so. There you go. Thank you. Zachary. You're always fair to us. Okay, good. Other reasons. Yeah, Missy. You're very responsible. I'm very responsible. So you guys are saying that, yeah, Oliver. Okay. Um, you keep us safe. There you go. Unfortunately, in this day and age, that public school principals are held in the highest regard, which we should. We have the most profound job and the most impactful ones. But yet the publicity that's out there is often negative. We need to combat that. And one of my goals as your president would be to make sure that we're telling our stories, the authentic ones, of the successes that are taking place every single day that in the reauthorization of ESEA, they're talking about fixing a broken educational system. Well, I haven't been in any schools that are broken, and I know all the wonderful things that you're doing each and every day for our students, so please continue that wonderful work. There's a lot of things to get done at NAESP, and the biggest one is around our strategic goal, and I just want to highlight some of them. NAESP has a strategic growth plan, which is impressive and powerful. That goal number one, elevating the visibility for and the service as the voice of pre-K through eight principles in the national education agenda. We need to make sure that our voice is heard loud and clear, not only in your local district, state, but also at the national level. While doing this, we need to make sure that we're influencing the educational policies, and that's where NAESP is so incredibly strong, advocating on behalf of all of our students and principals across the United States. It's often said that actions speak louder than words, that the students can hear what we're saying, but it's more important that they see what we're doing. And literacy is one of my strong suits, and I love advocating on behalf of how do we build up that independent reading so that we have these students that are able to contribute in our society, but also the global world that they're going to be competing in. Hello, Ms. Mack. Hello, how are you, Dr. Geis? Awesome. Where's Caitlin? Caitlin is actually in, oh, she's sitting right there. She has a half birthday. Caitlin, how are you doing today, sweetie? Awesome. Happy half birthday. I picked out a book for you. This is for you, card. Then I picked out a book called Granddaddy's Gift. You enjoy. Do you celebrate half birthdays? Uh-huh. Awesome. There you go. Have a nice day. You're welcome. I love the manners. You know, another goal as the NAESP president of mine would be communication. As zone director, I initiated monthly phone conversations with our state reps. As your future president, I'd like to be able to use Voxer uh, and other technology to make sure that we're communicating as quickly as we can so that you know the issues that are taking place. Uh, this would also entail conference calls that I'd love to be able to set them up, whether it's with state presidents or with the legislative affairs or with those that are the NAESP reps, that I think communication is paramount so that the message is clear and concise and out there. Please make sure that you're taking time to go out and learning about all the candidates, for they all have wonderful things to offer to help lead our organization and continue it moving forward as we're approaching the 100th anniversary of NAESP. Thank you for being a member of NAESP. It's important that you exercise your right to vote, that it, may, it was made very clear in the bylaws of revision that people wanted to have that say in the elections. And please remember that if you vote 
will lead all the candidates. For complacency has no place in the principalship. We want to make sure that you're out there voting. So please go online and look at the resources. And I appreciate you taking a look at this brief video introducing myself. And I'm Stephen Geis, and I approve this message.